It's easier than ever for us to work remotely and attend classes remotely for students. For Arizona State University, they've launched a satellite campus that isn't even in Arizona. Alex Capriello is live to tell us about ASU's California campus. Alex. Yeah, good morning to you, Adrian. From this spot right here in downtown Los Angeles, you can get to USC in about five minutes and UCLA in about 25 minutes. Perfect for local students, right? Well, there is a new campus that's entered the conversation. It's Arizona State University. They say it's perfect for those that don't want to enroll in that typical four-year on-campus college experience. And it's actually leading the hybrid prototype that we're seeing more and more universities try out now post-pandemic. Kara Smith never thought she'd attend Arizona State, especially from her hometown, Los Angeles. But the upstart campus fit her priorities of wanting to work and live near family. Yeah. Smith is what ASU calls a hybrid student, taking some classes online and some in person. Some people want the traditional college experience and living on a dorm, whilst others have different priorities. Arizona State has launched ASU Local, a program capturing out-of-state students and allowing them to live in their state. ASU now has campuses in L.A., Washington, D.C., and Yuma, Arizona. President Michael Crow calls it the new American university. This is every tool imaginable, every innovation that we can acquire, every means that we can enhance learning, and then know we're not going to stay physically isolated in a single location. Why would we? The emergence into other markets has drawn criticism from some who say ASU is stealing students away from their home states. But Crow believes it's tapping into what families really need. We're not competing against anybody in California. According to the annual Sally May survey, How America Pays for College, 70% of black students and 54% of Hispanic students reported success when learning online compared to in person. And that option opened up new opportunities for these minority families. Nearly half of the respondents said the online option allowed them to attend a school they wouldn't normally be able to because of its location just like Smith. Even though the pandemic was definitely something that, you know, was traumatizing for everyone, it allowed people to realize, oh, maybe I do want to work from home. Maybe I do want to go to school from home. During the pandemic, other universities also caught on. Portland State launched its Attend Anywhere pilot program last spring, perfect for anyone across America trying to balance school with life's many demands. More than 3,000 students, from graduating seniors to stay-at-home parents, enrolled this spring semester. As for Smith, her advice for those considering college is to make a list of what's important and don't be afraid to try new options tugging at your heart and your hometown. You don't have to push yourself to do something that you don't want to do and make sure you prioritize yourself first. So whether that's your financial needs and academic needs or the things you want socially, make sure you do what you want. Now, part of the reason the University of California and the California state school systems have trouble retaining in-state students are due to the high admission standards and also the enrollment caps that they got to meet. However, back in January, Governor Gavin Newsom proposed sending $40 billion to those school systems with the goal of retaining and bringing in more California students and then also increasing those graduation rates. I chatted with a spokesperson from the California state school system who said they're eagerly awaiting next month's budget allocation to see whether or not that $40 billion actually does come through. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.